we talked about one of the application in the morning. Now she is going to talk about concept, purpose, type, development process, and hands-on of another application, which is included in graphic resources. So welcome, Gulshan ma'am. Over to you. Thank you, Nidhi ma'am. And once again, a good morning to everyone. So in this session, we are going to uh, discuss on concept mapping and uh, one tool we will explore that is visual understanding environment. So uh, firstly, if you want to uh, take a hands-on on a visual understanding environment, then you have to download this application to your uh, PC or your lap in your laptops because there is no uh, application uh, for visual understanding environment uh, in Google Play Store, so you cannot find the application, the, uh, uh, the mobile application of View, uh, but <clears throat> you can download this application in your laptop and your PCs. So let's start with the presentation, but meanwhile, I would request you to download Visual Understanding Environment in your PCs or laptops. But if you are unable to download it, you just uh, don't worry. We, uh, I will uh, download the same application along with you by the help of a screen share and you will learn how you can download it. So let's start with the presentation. Visual understanding environment. So the topic of today's uh, session is uh, creating graphic resources and uh, under this session uh, we will learn how you can create concept use with the help of that is visual understanding environment. So firstly let, let's discuss what are the concept, what is the meaning of concept. So you all are aware of this term. Concepts are defined as abstract ideas, general notions that occurs in mind, in speech or in thought. So concepts are the abstract ideas, some, uh, something, uh, any topic which is not uh, uh, very much clear to your students. And uh, for teaching that particular topic, you will take the help of concept mapping. So concept can be anything which is not clear, which is in the form of uh, ideas only which are the general notions which appears in anybody's mind suppose i am talking about uh, uh, <clears throat> there is uh, there are some examples given here suppose i say happiness so can you show a teaching aid on happiness to your students because happiness is a concept you can only explain this term you cannot show anything relevant to this concept. You cannot show any object to this uh, term, to this concept of happiness. Only you can explain this term. So you can say that it is a concept which is in the form, uh, which, which is in the abstract, abstract form. And um, uh, for this term, if you want to explain it to your audience or, or to your students, you have to create a concept map. Okay, suppose I am teaching the concept of money to my primary students. So how can I teach them the concept of money? What will be the examples of teaching concept of money to your students? How you can uh, teach your students? You can share your uh, thoughts in the chat box. If you are explaining them the concept of money, the concept of rupees and pesa, which uh, we usually teach in the primary section. How will you teach? Or there are more examples I have mentioned here. Suppose you are teaching uh, the concept of time. How you will teach them? So these are some uh, examples. Uh, we will use the concrete material as TLM, like, like, TLM, like, 
This is what I am asking. If you are teaching uh, happiness to your students, you can just sim uh, simply prepare an infographic uh, <clears throat> in which you will sh show the feeling of happiness because happiness is only a feeling with the help of infographics. Yes, if you are teaching the concept of money, you will show them the currency notes and also you will show them uh, the value of that particular uh, currency note. Okay. Real object or money. Uh -huh. Yes, you can use the real object. And uh, there are many fake notes also available in the market. You can uh, teach them the concept of money with the help of uh, those fake notes. So there are many, uh, many abstract ideas which you want to explain to your uh, audience. You have to take the help of concept mapping for explaining those ideas so let's go further here is a definition of concept map given that concept maps always begin with a main idea and then the branch uh, out to show the relationship between different ideas by breaking the main concept down into the specific themes so if you are creating <clears throat> a concept map you have you must have a central idea. Central idea means you have, you must have the topic which you want to explain it uh, to your students in a much simplified manner. And if you want to simplify your concept, that particular topic to your students, you have to branch out that main topic into the little subtopics or sub ideas. Like uh, you are seeing in this picture, here is uh, the central idea is climate change, uh, which a teacher is uh, teaching to uh, his or her class. And to explain <clears throat> the climate change, the uh, teacher is taking help of concept map. And uh, further, this uh, concept map is breaking out into three sub concepts that is evidence, causes of climatic changes, and solution of climatic changes then further teachers break out these sub concepts into sub sub concepts so the causes causes of climate change could be human activities or the natural environmental changes and the solution of uh, avoiding the climate change or overcoming the climate changes could be changing human behavior or doing further research Further, the teacher is breaking out this sub-sub-concept of change human behavior into more small concepts that is explore renewable energy resource, reduce burning of fossil fuels or teacher can also break out these little concepts into multiple sub-concepts sub till the students understand the, that particular topic or that particular concept. So, the more comprehensive your concept map is, the more clear uh, information you are giving to your audience or to your students. So, you have to make your concept maps very comprehensive. So, if you create <clears throat> a concept map, then you need two things that is a concept which are you uh, which you are going to explain and this main concept is represented with the help of circle oval boxes or any other uh, uh, question ma'am ah, yes ma'am uh, ma'am there is a request Haji. to make the presentation full screen uh, it's there in the chat box so can you please make the presentation oh, full screen okay sorry uh, sorry sorry yes i'm doing that thank you diksha yes yes Thank you, just a minute, just a minute. Yes, yeah. yeah, sorry, there was a phone call. So uh, you need Thank to you. Uh, major concept. 
which you can represent with the help of circle, with the help of oval, or with the help of any shape which uh, you like. Then you have to show the relationship between the concept and between uh, and the sub concept, and for that you need the connecting lines, which are called the relationships. So here are few samples of concept map given in this slide. There, there is a, a, a sample of concept map. You can draw a concept map in this form. And these are the types of concept map. You can draw your concept map uh, in a spider shape. If uh, a concept map is drawn in this manner, uh, it is called the spider map. And you can also draw your concept map in the form of flow chart. You can also draw the hierarchy map. You can also draw the system map. These are the few examples of uh, concept maps given there in the previous slides. So in this slide, <clears throat> we have tried to uh, share with you the difference between mind map and a concept map. So if you see this slide, it is clear that if you are creating a mind map, you can use multiple concepts in a mind map for explanation but if you are uh, if you are uh, preparing a concept map you have to take only a single concept which you will explain further with the help of these connecting lines and sub sub concepts so in concept map we we explain only one single concept and in mind map we can uh, explain or uh, draw a mind map on multiple concepts. So there are few concept mapping tools which uh, we have shared with us uh, with you. That is Bubble.us, Poplet, Mind Map, Create, Lee, Google, List, Chart, Mind Eastern, Mind Domer, Spider, Scribe, and some more free and open source concept mapping tools. These are Free Mind, Draw Mind Map, Dossier, View. Uh, free plane goggle, X mind wise mapping, mind for two, 3D topic space. And here in this slide, we have shown the comparison between the mind mapping tools uh, like Addraw, Mindomo, Free Mind, Mind Manager, Lucid Chart. And uh, the comparison is among the platform, the use of that particular mind map and import and export files, the extension, uh, this, these mind maps are having. So you can only have, you can take a look on this slide. Then in the next slide also, the uh, comparison is there. Just have a look on this. Now let's come to our mind mapping tool that is visual understanding environment and in short we call it view so <clears throat> view is an open source project developed by academic technology group at tufts university this is a little introduction about this tool and view provides features to create mind maps obviously easily format and interpret items used it is used to uh, it is used for concept and content mapping for students, academicians, uh, CEOs, managers, and etc. So let's come to the practical part of this uh, tool. If you are going to download this uh, tool into your laptop or PC, you have to simply type visual understanding environment in the Google Chrome browser, and you will find the very first link that is view. Uh, and uh, when you click on a view, you will find this home page of visual understanding environment. So this, it is only a screenshot. I am going to uh, download the same application with you. So I'm just uh, stopping uh, my presentation here and I'm just opening the Google Chrome browser. You can download the same application with me.
<laughs> so in the browser, simply write visual understanding environment. So the first link that is view.tufts.edu, you have to click on it. And you will find the same screen. And it will ask you to download the application. Just download it. And uh, you have to choose here the operating systems, whether you are using the Windows operating system, the Mac uh, operating system, or the Linux. Uh, normally, we use Windows operating system. So we download view for Windows. The download has been started here in this uh, arrow button. You can see one download in progress. So I would request you to download this application in your laptop simultaneously so that we can be on the same page. I hope you all are downloading. There is no mobile application for view, but there are many more application uh, to create concept maps, uh, which uh, you will get from the Google Play Store. If you want to explore those application, you can explore, but uh, I would ask you to uh, download this application in your uh, laptops or PC. Okay, mine is also taking time. Only three minutes left, it is showing two minutes left. Okay, keep on trying, sir. Very good. Najmuddin, sir, you have downloaded and installed. Okay, you can open the home page of View. That is empty map area. You can go uh, to that step. Need two hours. How can it show two hours? It is only a matter of few minutes. Hello. As you can see that application has been downloaded. Now we have, we will open uh, this view installer. You will find the two options that is Mac, uh, Mac OS X. And the next one is view installer. Just click on view installer and it will ask you to extract all the folders and to run the application. Just click on run. Link as such is the sir. You have to find it on Google, which I have just shown you. Again, you will find <coughs> you will find this uh, uh, dialog box. Uh, click on the run button.
and you will see that the fold uh, the files are getting extracted uh, click on install So this is the setup of view and the files are getting extracted and it is saying that complete the view setup wizard finish. So you are not seeing, uh, you are not able to see my screen, the recent screen. After downloading that this application, you will Okay, let me share the window again. Is it clear now? After running the setup and after downloading this application, you will get this empty map area. I hope this screen is visible to all. Okay, th thank you. And this is the area which you will draw your concept map. So let's come on the same page. Just confirm me by writing in the chat box that you have downloaded the application. Just confirm me. Okay, thank you. Just open this empty map area. Okay, now let's start uh, drawing the concept map. So as you can see, this map area, you will be able to see uh, on top of this uh, whole screen there is a menu bar given uh, and in this menu bar the file option is there edit option is there view option is there and these are the same uh, options which are available in any other applications also file edit view you will find in any other application also for format also you will find but content pathways analysis of windows and help uh, this you will find in this application. Windows and help you uh, can find in other applications also. But these three menus are different. Yes, and in this menu bar, if you click on the file option, you will find the similar uh, option in the drop down menu new file, open recent, open you for from URL, close, save, save as, etc. So, with the help of new uh, option, you uh, will create, you can create a new concept map with the help of open, as you know. You can create, uh, you can open the already existing uh, file which you have created and open from URL. If you are opening your project or if you are opening your work through with the help of URL, you can use these options. And then you can save your um, uh, concept with the help of save option, save as. Uh, 
these are the very much familiar op uh, options available in the drop down of uh, file menu and under this edit option you will find many familiar options uh, and this uh, view menu also these all are i hope familiar to you all let's come to the drawing toolbar the drawing toolbar there are three four five six seven eight options given only eight options but if you see this first arrow button is of selection tool and the second uh, second drawing option is of node tool the third one is of link tool then the fourth one is rapid prototyping and it is text tool this is zoom in zoom out tool this is the tool for moving your canvas and this is for play uh, playing your uh, created concert maps so now let's start uh, uh, with uh, uh, let's start a concept map drawing a concept map with the help of drawing tool so here i am going to draw a concept map on the topic how a concept map can be drawn so the, my topic is how a concept map can be drawn or what is a concept map so the main topic of this concept map is concept map just simply click on this tool of node tool this uh, select this node tool and bring your cursor to the map area i'm drawing it again yes just select the node tool bring your cursor to the map area and drag it you will find a box on your drawing area and you can rename your concept also as because i am drawing uh, i am preparing a concept map on concept map then my topic will be concept maps only so why concept maps are used concept maps are used by teachers concept maps are also used by students now we have to connect these concepts this is the main concept and we have to connect the main concept with the sub concept and for this we have to select the link tool after selecting the link tool just bring your cursor to the main concept and simply drag the cursor and bring it towards the sub concept to join the main concept with the sub concept now as i uh, drag my cursor and you will see that uh, that a uh, linking line uh, has been appeared and it joins the main concept with sub concept but in this linking line you are also finding a small text box you can <clears throat> write a connecting word in this text box so i am writing here used by now i hope it is clear that concept maps are used by students again you can draw a connecting line then again you are seeing that a text box is appearing now we don't use this text box because the message is going like concept maps are used by students and teachers so one connecting word is enough and now we don't want any more connecting word than if you don't want this text box you have to simply click outside the uh, this um, uh, on this map area and the linking word will disappear okay now let's go further with this concept map concept maps are 
the graphical representation of a concept. I want to say that. That the concept maps are graphical representation of a concept. For this, I'll draw a node, and, and in this node, I will write graphic the graphic representations of a concept. You can also resize your text box. Now I have to connect this sub concept with the main concept and for this I need a linking tool. Then I have to select this linking tool and I should bring this <coughs> the cursor to my main concept. And then I have to connect this main concept with the sub concept with the help of this linking line. Again, uh, you need a connecting word to explain the message you want to convey. So simple, you have to write here R. Now, I hope it is clear that concept maps are graphic, graphical representation. You can edit the text. Graphical representation of a concept. Concept maps are used by are used by students and teachers and you can further uh, make your uh, concept map more compre comprehensive by adding more sub nodes and drawing the linking tools so how st how students can use the concept map Students can use the concept maps uh, as study aids. And a teacher can use the concept map for uh, assessment or anything else. Now we have to connect this sub concept with the main concept with the help of this link tool. Teachers use concept map for assessment. Students can use concept maps as study aids. So this is how you have to connect the main concept with the sub concepts and you can explain <clears throat> the topic uh, with the help of these linking words. Now you can see that all nodes are in the similar color and you are not able to find which is the main concept and which is the sub concept. So if you want to clarify the user that uh, what is the main concept and what is the sub concept you have to take help uh, from the windows menu and under this windows menu you will you will find the formatting palette and with the help of this formatting palette you can uh, format your whole concept node you can change the text size you can change the text color you can change the node color and even you can change the line of these connecting uh, connecting line. You can change the color of these connecting lines. Yes, uh, uh, we can increase the font size. I'll show you how. So like uh, the main concept is this concept map. We have to select it. You can select your uh, node with the help of this selection tool. Just select it, go to the windows menu, open the formatting palette and you can also, you can see here that you can choose the shape of your choice for your uh, node. You can choose any shape like uh, if you want an oval shape, you can change it into uh, in an 
or oval shape the main concept you can change and you can also fill the color of your choice this is a little bit darker so i am taking a light shade now you can see the main concept becomes of a different color you can also resize the nodes as per your choice you can also change the size of the text given here. So with the help of this text option, you can change the font style. And you can change the size of text. You can also change the color of text. Yes. Now it is visible that uh, anyone can identify what is the main concept, what is the main topic, and what are the subtopics. Now you can see all subtopics, uh, all, all the uh, subtopics and the this sub sub nodes are of same color. You can change the colors of all the sub nodes in the similar manner like if i want to <clears throat> show that this it belongs to <coughs> same information then i have to select these two nodes <coughs> and you can choose a similar color for these two subtopics sorry this is the text color so text color would be black and the fill color it will be different now these you can anyone can identify that this information is same and you can select this also and change the color of the nodes okay now it is visible that these subtopics are same these subtopics are same and you can also uh, change the color of text and a uh, node with the help of this uh, <clears throat> uh, formatting uh, palette yes so the next thing is Color option I am already explaining, sir. Color options I am explaining. Like if you want to change the color of these linking lines, you can also do that. And for this, you have to select the linking lines. Then <laughs> go to the formatting palette and click on stroke option. And under this, you will find many styles of linking lines. You can choose the style as per your need or as per your choice. And you can change the uh, look of your linking lines. Like I have selected the dotted lines. And you can see that this linking line is converted into a dotted line. Then again, you can change the size of these linking lines. <clears throat> Again, you have to select. You have to select the lines and you can change the size of these linking lines. I have uh, selected three points uh, thickness. Now four points thickness. Now uh, you can see that the thickness of the linking lines is changed. So in this manner, you can uh, create a more comprehensive concept map and you can make your concept map more attractive and more relevant to your, for your students. So uh, this ma is... Yes, ma'am. Uh, SL Vinjeet from Andaman and Nicobar Islands has a question. They say, ki, could you please explain the color options? Uh, yes, uh, Vinjit sir, I am uh, already explaining. Thank you, uh, Diksha ji. 
I am already explaining you the color option, but once again, uh, I am. I will explain. You got the option. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take the queries also. Thank you. So <clears throat> this is regarding the formatting of your concept map. Now. One more interesting features of uh, visual understanding environment is that you can add the relevant information to your, uh, for your students in these given nodes. If you want to add more information, more information means that if you want to add um, additional information, for your students from other websites or from uh, if you want to add any extra image to your concept map uh, to explain your topic in a much clearer way, you can do that also. Then how can we do that? Suppose we have written that concept maps are used by students for study aids. And here in study aids, you want to add any additional knowledge or additional information. So how you can do that? Just simply select that particular node. Select the node. Then right click on it. And you will find <clears throat> that there is an option of adding nodes, adding keywords, generate keywords, add URL, add image or file, Add most relevant Flickr image. If you want to add any relevant Flickr image, you can do that also. So these options are for adding additional resources to this particular node. Okay, so let's try it. Like uh, if I want to add nodes to my particular node so that my students can go through that information or my students can uh, can uh, get additional knowledge then i have to click <clears throat> add notes and after clicking it, clicking it you will find this dialog box and the label of this dialog box is study aids which we have written here in this uh, sub concept and the additional nodes I can add here under the node nodes. Like I am writing just uh, some uh, random things here. Like I'm just adding something. You can add relevant information. This is just for a demo purpose. Okay. So I have written here something. And then I close the node. Uh, I close this dialog box. You will find <clears throat> a symbol of pencil appearing here. Okay. So whenever you or your student brings your cursor here on this symbol, you will find the additional load which you have added in this uh, sub-concept. Okay? In the similar manner, you can also add keywords, URL, any image also. So let's uh, See how we can add URL to our uh, concepts. If you click add URL, <clears throat> you will see this small dialog box and it will ask you to write the URL here. So any additional information which you want to share with your audience for whom you are preparing this concept map, you can add more information into it. So, like if you want them to take uh, them to another website, you can add the URL of that particular website here. Simply, I am writing here diksha.gov.in. This is a URL of a Diksha platform. Again, <clears throat> after adding the link, you will see an additional link here. Okay. You are able to see the notes also. Let me make it a bigger box. Yes. So you can see the additional notes here, which we have just added. And you can also see the link we have added here of Diksha. If we click on this link, you will go to an external platform. Okay, 
you will go to the home page of Diksha. In this manner, you can add any hyperlink here where you want to take your students or where you want to uh, uh, share <clears throat> any uh, uh, any uh, sorry any external website any information which is available on another website you can share the hyperlink of that particular content here in this note now let's see another uh, option if you want to add any image to your sub concept just simply right click on it and add uh, image add image the option now let's try here on another node <clears throat> select this node yes uh, right click on it and under url you will find the option of add image file if you click on it, it will ask you the location where your image is saved. You have to go to that particular location, whether it is document, PC or desktop. And you can add <coughs> an image here. Right now, I am not having any image. Let's try one. Yes, I'm selecting this image and I'm adding it. Okay, <clears throat> so in this manner, you can add an image to your concept map. After adding, you will find that a link, uh, a link of images appear, uh, appearing here. And if you click on it, you will find uh the original image okay so this is a random image which i have just added for your uh information okay so in this manner you can add the image also and you can try <clears throat> many uh, ma'am right hanji ma'am uh, ma'am there is a question However, I cannot see the name of that person. Samsung SMM515. Sir, please rename yourself with the uh -huh. name of your state. The question is, uh -huh. can I change the language to Hindi? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, but for changing the language, uh, you can. Uh, you have to take help of uh, Google input tool. You can change the language. But firstly, you have to <coughs> uh, translate uh, the text into the particular language which you want to add in your concept map and for that you have to take help of google input tool powerpoint acha to hai sir but ek bar try karenge na ise to fir aap powerpoint use nahi karenge uh, language ho gaya please acha ek minute main question dekh rahi hu acha uh, you are uh, unable to change the shape अच्छा शेप को चेंज करने के लिए आई एम अगेन टेलिंग यू जस्ट सिलेक्ट द नोट सिलेक्ट द पर्टिकुलर नोट यू कैन सिलेक्ट इट बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द नोट इफ यू क्लिक द नोट इट विल गेट सिलेक्टेड एंड गो टू द विंडोज मेन्यू एंड जस्ट सिलेक्ट द फॉर्मेटिंग पैलेट एंड आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग दिस फॉर्मेटिंग पैलेट यू विल फाइंड द ऑप्शन ऑफ शेप नोट शेप एंड यू विल फाइंड मेनी शेप्स हेयर you can select any shape of your choice you can uh, uh, convert this shape into oval shape okay so uh, in this manner you can change the shape of your node and you can resize it as per your need so <clears throat> uh, the slide of concept map website please once again show it Sir, you can use Kruti Dev, but you have to write the text uh, in Google input first. Then uh, you have to copy that text and paste it here in your concept map. 
like uh, <clears throat> let me first uh, complete uh, my presentation first uh, then i will uh, take your queries so like uh, you can change also the uh, shapes of these uh, connecting lines and uh, you can change uh, like uh, just wait a minute yes under link tool you will find the <clears throat> the shapes also uh, if you want to give a curve to your connecting line you can give it uh, with the help of this link option in the uh, formatting palette and you can uh, curve your lines as per your choice or as per your need. Saving ka bhi batate sir, but draw to kar le. Theek hai. So, uh, these are a few uh, options uh, of creating a concept map which you can try in the beginning also. <clears throat> but once you got, uh, get proficient in creating mind maps, you can uh, use the advanced option also. So uh, one more option I just want to share with you, that is the option of rapid prototyping. <clears throat> and if you use this uh, uh, tool, you can create uh, you can draw uh, a sub-concept with a linking line. So with the help of prototyping, there is no need to draw separate nodes and uh, to connect them uh, with a linking tool, you will automatically get a node and a uh, sub-node. <coughs> uh, sorry, you can get a node and a linking tool automatically like this. Just try it on your laptop. Okay, so this is the rapid prototyping tool. This is the text tool. So if you want to give a heading to your concept map, you can just add, select the text tool and add a heading to your concept map. Let's delete this. So this is the heading of my concept map. We can drag it. We can uh, resize it. And we can drag it also. Select the text and you can increase the font size of this heading. You can also change the font style. And font color also you can change. <clears throat> so like uh, if this is my final concept map, then I have to save it also. For saving, you have to simply click on the file menu. And if you want to save it with the uh, this name only, uh, with uh, without giving any name, just cl click on save button. If you want to rename your file, then uh, you have to click on save as. And by default, because you are drawing this concept map in this uh, application view, so uh, by default it will take the extension of view. And the format is also taken as view, but you can also change the format of your file. So if you want to save your concept map, just uh, you can uh, rename it.
I have renamed it as first. And if uh, you want to save it in view format, just uh, select the view format. And if you want to change the format of your uh, file, you can change it. Like if I am saving it <clears throat> in PDF format on desktop, Let's see how it will appear. We can change the language from taskbar. Okay, sir. If you can demonstrate us how we can change language, then it will be an additional information for us. So now I have saved this concept map in PDF format. Let's see how it will appear. Yes, <clears throat> here is our concept map. Let's open it. Is my screen visible? No. So this is how. This is how you can see your concept map saved in, uh, saved as PDF. Is it visible? I hope. Yes. But if you save your concept map in PDF format, you won't be able to access all these resources which you have added here. So uh, I am clicking here the link which uh, I have just added of picture.gov.in. It is asking us for uh, the permission. Okay, you are accessing the resources which you have added. So like if I want to see the image which I have added in my map, I have allowed, I have given the permission. The picture is not opening, but the link has opened. So the thing is, <clears throat> while saving your uh, concept map, you have to uh, know, you should know that where you are using your concept map. Okay. So as per your requirement, you have to uh, save your concept map like if you are uh, uh, if you are saving it uh, in pdf format you will be available to access few resources which you have added in your concept map but if you are using in the view format and you are uh, opening the same file uh, in another computer which is having the view application you will be able to access all the resources which you have embedded in your concept map. So it depends on you, uh, the format to choose in which you want to save your file. So now I'm taking your questions. Yes, Murthy sir has written that we can change the language from taskbar. From the taskbar of view, sir. Yes, now I will take the questions if you have any doubt. Uh, sir, in concept map, you can add animation. You can add, you just try adding any, any animation, but you cannot create animation in view. For creating animations, there are many more tools which we will discuss in the coming days of SRG. 
हाँ वी कैन कॉपी एंड पेस्ट लिंक है यस रसीना जी वी कैन कॉपी एनी लिंक एंड वी कैन पेस्ट इन द इन एनी नोट ओके एनी मोर क्वेश्चन you are not able to change the shape of node <clears throat> simply you, firstly you have to select that particular node ha sita ramaiya ji you have to select the node first then you have to open the windows menu and under that windows menu you will find formatting palette and uh, <clears throat> through that you can change the shape firstly you have to select the node सैमसंग नोट एट ये आप मोबाइल है आपका डॉक्टर एम सोएन सोएन जी मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन नॉट नॉट अवेलेबल व्यू की मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन नहीं है uh, ये विंडोज एप्लीकेशन है यू कैन डाउनलोड इट कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन प्रोसेस ऑफ गूगल इनपुट ठीक है बता देते हैं हम गूगल इनपुट कैसे यूज करना है बता देते हैं मैम डूइंग द सेम बट स्टिल नॉट टेबल परमिटेड कैन आई शेयर हाँ आप अपना स्क्रीन शेयर कर सकते हैं आप अपना स्क्रीन शेयर करके बता दी कैन बी क्रिएट ट्रांसपेरेंट क्या है बीजी मीन्स चलिए आप अपना स्क्रीन शेयर कीजिए मैं एक बार लेट मी डेमोस्ट्रेट द गूगल इनपुट टूल टू यू So I am again sharing my screen to demonstrate how a Google Input tool works. अच्छा ये किसी ने किया हुआ है. Yes, अच्छी तरह भैया जी. हाँ. Please un unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. हाँ आपने screen share किया था? जी. जी. शेयर हो रहा है मैडम मेरे स्क्रीन नो सर शेयर नहीं है अभी यस सर नहीं ये मेरा नहीं है मैडम कोई और ने शेयर किया है अच्छा ये सीता लक्ष्मी जी या मैम आई डिड इट इन मोबाइल ऐप मैम प्ले स्टोर इवेंट दैट आई वुड यू आर यू आर यूजिंग मैम दिस इज नॉट Uh, different apps are available in the Play Store, ma'am. Ha. I did it with the mind. Ha, mind okay. Yes, yes ma'am. You're right. You're right. Ha. You're right. Just ha. I tried ha. this. So, free mind is also a tool through which you can uh, create mind maps and concept maps. Ha. Okay. Who mind tool? Hai. <coughs> I tried it in Play Store. Ha. Yes, ma'am. It must be the free mind tool. The things are simple, but it is. It depends on you how you are using those simple things, and make make it more meaningful. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay. Hanji, or yeah. first question. Thank you. Ma'am, please allow me to share my screen so that I can show the problem which I am facing. Okay, okay. So I request Sita Lakshmi ji to unshare her screen so that others can ask questions by sharing their screen. Yes, ma'am. So this is my concept map, ma'am. I side by side did what you have been doing. Hmm. 
now i have selected the uh, node the mm -hmm. one now yes. if i go uh, to uh, change the shape now it is sir. showing black no ye nahi ye ye which window you you have opened sir this window which window you have opened you just simply go uh, go to windows menu just before the help option ye jo hai second last second last in the menu ma menu bar the second drop down menu is of windows click on windows yes sir Yes, yes. And yes. Under this, you will find the formatting palette. अच्छा एक तो ये आप your screen is very small, so I am unable to see. हाँ. Sir, the selection has gone. <clears throat> the selection of this particular node node has gone. Yes. Now go to the shapes. Go to shapes. Yes. अच्छा ये why it is happening? I don't know because uh, it should not happen like this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, it should not happen like this. Issue, I think. Okay, ma'am. I'll check it out. Uh, Acha, uh, uh, firstly, you just close this application and then reopen your concept map. Save your concept map in view format only. Close it and then reopen it and then try to uh, reshape your uh, uh, node. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, there is another question uh, by Adel Arison from Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Uh, he says concept map is produced in PNG format with white background. Is it possible to create transparent background? Ah, uh, this me. Uh, yes, you can change the background, but not transparent. You can. uh color the background of your concept map but uh, i don't think uh, uh, you can make the background transparent but yes you can color the background of concept map and uh, there is another <laughs> question mm -hmm. yes diksha ma'am uh they are saying ki we are getting it as view light in play store are they both you can try way? you can try this application from tl prabhavati anga uh, from telangana uh, yes prabhavati ma'am you can try this application you can try so just uh, quickly i am taking you to the google input tool just open your google chrome browser and uh, right here google input so the very first option of google input tools just click on it and click on try it out so now you will find the languages in which you want to write your text there are almost all the languages available here like uh, from afrikaans to zulu it depends on you which language you want to use in your uh, concept map and i only know english and hindi and little bit of urdu so i am just showing you how to write a text in hindi can you all are you able to read hindi or not no but it is only for the demonstration purpose so let's select the language hindi i am i am writing here mera if you want, uh, want to write this uh, mera you will find many spellings for this word mera then you have to select the correct spelling mera pehla you have to select the correct spelling so you must be proficient in that language mera pehla concept concept ye wala sahi hai map 
फर्स्ट वन इज राइट तो मैंने लिखा है माय फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मैप इन हिंदी मेरा पहला कॉन्सेप्ट मैप देन यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दिस टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम हेयर गूगल इनपुट यू कैन इधर कट योर टेक्स्ट और यू कैन कॉपी योर टेक्स्ट देन गो टू योर कॉन्सेप्ट मैप लेट मी ओपन माई कॉन्सेप्ट मैप And if you want to add this text here, या इसको हम यहाँ करते हैं इधर आ गया हिंदी में मेरा पहला कॉन्सेप्ट मैं यहाँ का टेक्स्ट मैंने हटा दिया था नाउ यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव कॉपीड the hindi text from the google input tool and i have pasted here and now i am just maximizing it for you okay is it visible mera pehla concept map in this manner you can create concept map and you can use the language of your choice in your concept maps ma'am can i use google translator as well ha kar sakte hain ha yes you can use google translator but you have to confirm because sometimes google translate doesn't uh, translate uh, uh, correctly acha इंग्लिश में तो सीता लक्ष्मी जी आई ऑलरेडी रिटर्न द सेम टेक्स्ट इन हिंदी इंग्लिश अर्लियर यस यू कैन यूज गूगल ट्रांसलेशन टूल आल्सो बट यू कैन नॉट रिलाय ऑन दैट यू योर सेल्फ शुड बी फर्स्ट प्रोफिशिएंट इन एनी लैंग्वेज बिफोर यूजिंग दैट लैंग्वेज इन योर कॉन्सेप्ट मैप गूगल ट्रांसलेट हमेशा सही ट्रांसलेशन नहीं करता है कहीं ना कहीं मिस्टेक्स रहते हैं सो आई सजेस्ट you should check the translation first and then use it in your concept map any more questions okay ramesh ji aap share kar sakte hain kar dijiye screen share kar lijiye आप सभी लोग अपना कैमरा ऑन कर सकते हैं अभी तो हम लोग डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं अभी हैंड्स ऑन तो ओवर हो गया है तो हमें लगे कि हम लोग आमने सामने बैठ के बात कर रहे हैं इसलिए हम बोल रहे हैं जी रमेश जी यू कैन शेयर योर स्क्रीन तेलुगु फॉन्ट ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है सर यू जस्ट ट्राई इट इन गूगल इनपुट you can simply cut your uh, cut the text and paste it in your uh, concept map if i use a text tool then can i move the text box you uh, i think you are trying to ask you yes, you can move the text box you can also move the text which you have added in your concept map so now we are uh, seeing the screen of ramesh ji <coughs> yes ramesh ji you can unmute yourself so your concept map is uh, really very attractive you have Uh, tried all the uh, uh, all those options which we have just discussed thank you madam so any suggestions from any any suggestions from anyone it's very easy to create a concept map 
first we have to take a blueprint of what we have to do by uh, writing after writing we can create a... yes it should be clear in the teacher's mind what he or she is trying to explain first the concept should be clear to you first it should be clear to me what i am trying to convey to my students or to my stu uh, to my audience so much. the much clearer information you are having the more the more comprehensive your concept map will be yes rightly said sir i don't know what uh, problem you are facing in cutting and pasting that particular uh, language so if you can uh, share your screen rasina ji so that we can understand why you are not able to cut and paste the malayalam uh, language in a concept map you can share your screen if you wish Name of the app I have just mentioned Mindomo and uh, Free Mind. The Free Plane also uh, is an application to create uh, uh, concept maps and mind maps. And Google input I have mentioned you to uh, use any regional language in your concept map. Okay. Ma'am, please repeat it, ma'am. I didn't get it. Mind? Uh, yes. Ma'am, I'm Prabhavati, ma'am. Uh, just I want you to repeat the name of the app. Because in the UE, I'm not you. getting it. Uh, oh, in the UE, I'm not getting any concept. Repeat the name so of? App, app. Mind, you said something. I didn't get it. Which app, ma'am? Which app? Uh, for uh, content achha, achha. mind domo free mind free plane ha ha mind domo you can create concept map and mind maps both in these uh, applications yes mind domo, mind domo. it is a, a mobile application and it is very uh, easy to use also okay thank achha. you achha okay i am writing this in the chat box yeah please Okay. There are other applications you, also, ma'am. Okay. So, if you are not having any more questions, then uh, I will hand over this session to the coordinators, Ms. Nidhi and Ms. Diksha. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for such an interactive session and thank you for answering all the questions. I hope all the participants will benefit from this session and use the same in their classroom.